What is up, everybody, and welcome back to episode number nine, I believe. Well, round number nine, probably like ep episode six or something, because we had a couple of episodes where the recording wasn't right. But we're back with Nick DeVries and Yuki Sonoda. 11 days until the Grand Prix, we do have some stuff being manufactured. We need to see if they're upgrades that we can put on the car or not. First things first, uh, DeVries decided to destroy the suspension last race, so we got to fix that. We had a research upgrade come in. We got a front wing design on the go as well. We're in... Holy cow, it's supposed to rain. Well, we're in Canada. It's supposed to rain very, very soon. So we're going to go out straight away with both drivers. Confidence low. What's going on there? Um, we do have new upgrades for this Grand Prix. We've also put in some new engines for DeVries. So he should have all fresh engines. We've put in the rest of the... Fresh engines for Sonoda. He will need to take a penalty probably in the next Grand Prix. But I'm expecting both drivers to get out of Q2 here. Our car looks decent. It looks good enough for at least one of our drivers to get into the points. At least hopefully. Put in a solid, solid lap. Ocon has started his lap. So he's not going to get in the way. Nick DeVries up to the line. What sort of time are you going to put in? Well, we don't know where it is relative to, to the field. A 13-3. Sonoda will be up next. What sort of lap has Sonoda got in his locker? Come on, Yuki. A 12-7. Okay, Nick. E your lap doesn't look too great now. Your lap does not look too great at all. The Vries could be out here. Oh, my days. He's been... He's been... Yeah. Sonoda's through. Nick, mate. I know one of you in the comments, like the only one that actually comments, um, you want me to keep Nick. Look at this. Look at the standings right here. How am I supposed to ke uh, keep Nick? P19, six tenths behind Sonoda. Tell, tell me how. I mean, come on. He's had a stinker. An absolute stinker. We waited as long as we can to try and give him the best track conditions. Um, they'll, they'll make the line probably with about 20 to 30 seconds to spare. But the Vries does have another chance. I'm not sure if other cars are improving. I should actually have a look. But we're going to go all attack of the outlaps to warm up the tyres. Is anybody actually improving on their time? Some people are getting some green sectors here and there. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult uh, for DeVries to get out of Q1. We've had to use a new set of tyres. We're going to find out if he's got the minerals or not. Does he have the minerals? DeVries, he's up. He is up. He's in the green. Something could be happening here. Something could be happening. Prove me wrong, Nick. Prove me wrong. The Alpine needs to get out of the way. He gets out of the way. He's gone green, green. DeVries. I mean, he does need to find a heap of time. He needs to find over four tenths. Sonoda looks like he's going to be okay. He is improving a little bit. So, I mean, he is he's going a lot faster than Nick, I think. But Nick, surely. What's he got in his locker? Please, put that car... What am I seeing? What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Who was that Red Bull? It was Verstappen, you little mug. You mug. You've destroyed the Vries. I mean, the Vries goes up to P16. That is very frustrating. That is very, very frustrating. If we can make it into Q3, that'll be brilliant. New upgrades is well. I think I put the new upgrades on. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. So, Sonoda up to the line. 17-8. Oh, he's just behind some of the other cars. He's right at the back, actually. It's not a good lap at all. It is not a good lap at all. And I forgot to put the ERS on deploy. That is not... That's not good at all. But it's not a good lap. He's down in P14. Sonoda is on his flyer. He's got some uh, clearer... Actually, I think Norris and Bottas are finishing their laps. Hopefully, they're starting them because they could actually be in the way of Sonoda here. No, they finished their laps. Get out the way. Please get out of the way. Sonoda's cooking. He's cooking this lap. How do you not get out of the way? That bloody Alfa Romeo. We've gone green in the first sector. There is still a chance for Yuki Sonoda. It's a 22-9. What's the middle sector looking like? We need to find, holy cow, 1.2 seconds. Gasly is r rocketed up the uh, the leaderboard. They were all flying on these final laps. If you weren't out on the track at the right time, you're going to plummet down the leaderboard. We've gone yellow in the middle sector thanks to that bloody Alfa Romeo, and we're not going to go through. But if we go up to P12, I guess we will have to take it. Sonoda up to the line. What's he got in the locker? He's not going to get in the Q3 because we did get blocked. But we are going to go up to P12, which is a little bit annoying. I, I think that's probably where we would have been anyway. But um, I think we've timed that well. We've maximized it, got to P12. If we would have 
I mean, if we would have, uh, if we didn't get blocked, we could have probably found another three, four tenths. But either way, P12, I think that's a good performance from Yuki. The freeze, P16, not so great. We might have a look at maybe taking some penalties. No rain in the race, so it won't be as crazy as qualifying or as interesting probably as well. Um, what do we do? I mean, looking at the car parts... I mean, he's got relatively new stuff anyway. I mean, no, no. We don't want him starting at the back. We need him to take advantage if something happens. Let's have a look at the strategy. So, we could go softs to hards. So we could get him under going early. Um, tire wear's not high at all. It's a one-stop. It's a guaranteed one-stop. It is a short pit lane as well. So, if we want to, we could go for the two-stop. I think this softs mediums a possibility. It is. Why are we going softs hards? I think softs mediums is the way to go. We take the softs to lap 30, chuck on the mediums. Mate, let's do that. All right, we'll do that with De Vries. And I think we do something similar. Maybe go medium softs. Medium softs with... Medium softs with Yuki. Take those mediums to as far as possible, lap 40. Uh, and we'll see what we can do from there. Hopefully there's a few safety cars. Something to spice up this race. Because a team like us, we need as many safety cars as possible. Alright, let's see what we can do. We do have new upgrades on the car. Hopefully they're more effective in the race than they were in qualifying yesterday. But we are underway. Drivers on different strategies. DeVries on the softs. Sonoda on the mediums. Both going for the one stop. DeVries picking up a position early doors. Hopefully as he goes for another move. On the other Alfa Romeo. So, De Vries, he's cooking. He is cooking. I reckon he, he's going to have a great day today. That's my prediction. De Vries is going to cook today. Hopefully, Sonoda as well. And uh, we can have at least one of the drivers in the points. What tyre is uh, Sergeant on? Sergeant's on... He's on softs. I mean, I want to try and break a gap to him. I just don't think we can. Maybe we top up some ERS and break a gap after we overtake. I think De Vries is, is decently fast right now. He's running low fuel... He's on the soft tyres. I mean, it's just we've lost so much time to the top 11 that points is is pretty much out of the question. We do have a, an objective to finish in the top 14 for like three races in a row, I think. Three or four races in a row. So make sure we finish in the top 14. I think P12 is the goal right now. If a safety car red flag something comes out, then maybe we could dabble in to the top 10. But I, I mean, let's, let's fight what we can fight right now. P12 is kind of the objective. High overtake aggression. Your confidence is high. De Vries around the outside. Oh, he's cooking. What a move, Nick. What a move. Okay. If we can get away from this train, that could be pretty big. P12, P13, run our own little race. Yes, please. Solid move from De Vries. Solid stuff from Yuki. I don't know if we can pull away. Uh, they might catch up very soon. But regardless, we've gone for the push and it's worked out so far. De Vries. Oh, De Vries fancies it on Sonoda. I'll tell you what. I kind of want Sonoda not to fight him. I think De Vries is the faster one. So there you go. Sonoda lets him on through. Uh, drops a little bit of time to Sergeant behind. But we've got a nice little buffer. Sonoda, you've got to stay with him though, boss. You've got to stay with him. If you can just stay in his DRS, we might be able to, to fend off Bottas. Fend off Sergeant. Sergeant was holding us up big time. Uh, but De Vries has got that clear air on those soft tyres. Let him cook. Yellow flag. This is what we need. We need a safety car. Several uh, several cars involved. Bottas is involved. Bottas Sergeant. Oh, it's the teammates. Come on now. I was expecting a crash, safety car, VSC, something. But it doesn't look like it's going to be anything. So Guan Yu Zhou and Bottas, the two teammates, they've had an incident. Shame it's the cars behind. Um, did Sergeant pit? Yeah, he has. So, Sergeant's pit. He's the only one to pit so far. But uh, we got that buffer to Norris behind. Both drivers are doing good. I think we might swap him around. We might allow... Let's allow Sonoda to, to do what he needs to do. I think he might be faster now on those medium tyres. So, uh, Yuki, if you can find the move, which he's going to find right now, I believe. I mean, we don't want them fighting too much because they could drop so much time. Holy cow, that was hurting my eyes. They could drop time to Norris behind. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I think they're around close close to speed. Around the same speed. I mean, the Vries has got a lot less fuel. Maybe that's why uh, he's cooking a little bit. 
I don't know. Maybe let's tell the Vries to push, and um, we'll tell Sonoda not to fight. It's a much better performance from De Vries today. He's holding on to Sonoda. I mean, he's dropping behind now. The tires are going off. We've got to look at a pit stop, and I think we're probably going to do it next lap. Uh, I mean, these tires could go maybe a little bit longer if we tell him to to go attack or we a push on them. They're saying now's the optimal pit stop lap. Um. I mean, I think he's got two laps to push. So we'll push this lap and we'll push the next lap as well. You can see that time going down. So he's using up the tires. And I think we're going to pit him this lap onto a set of medium. So we've gone one lap extra than we planned to, which is always good. He's holding on to Sonoda. It's probably going to undercut him here. Or he will undercut him. We do need a VSC, a safety cut, something to help him with the fuel. He should get lapped as well. So that will be handy. We, we could do one less lap. But we need something to help us out on that fuel because... We're taking a bit of a risk by by not conserving some just yet. I don't want to. I want to make sure we have that gap to Norris behind uh, as we do peel off into the pits. So DeVries into the pits now. Norris stays out. Anybody else on the softs? Uh, Piastri probably in. Yeah, Piastri in. Joe will be coming in soon. There's a bit of lag there, but we're... we're 2.3! Hold on! We're going to get... Surely. Surely that's points. Fourth! Come on! That might be points in the DHL... Fastest pit stop lap as uh, Sergeant's ahead of us. That's a little annoying. All right, well, Sergeant's ahead of us. But the Vries, uh, pit stop done. And uh, great job to the pit crew. Solid work. Magnuson pit stop issue. Hello. Let's have a look. He needs like a 16 second pit stop for us to even be close to him. Tires are on. But... Hold on. That was like a good eight, nine seconds. But I don't think they're still nowhere near us yet. You can see he's quite a bit up the road, which is a little bit annoying. But, I mean, DeVries, he's got to find a way past Bottas, Sergeant, Albon. Come on, DeVries. We're waiting for you to cook. Let him cook. DeVries is through. DeVries is through on Bottas. Next up is Sergeant. Um, I mean, he's got the DRS of his teammate in front. Albon's in the pits. Beautiful. Okay, if we just follow Sergeant, get away from Bottas, who's on those old mediums. We're chilling. We're chilling with the Vries. We want Sonoda to stay out there a little bit longer. It'll be nice for him to have fresh softs towards the end of the Grand Prix. He's doing a good job. Norris is closing in a little bit. He's managed to save those mediums a little bit better. Um, you got Magnussen there as well. We need the, those two to keep fighting. Not going to happen. Magnussen's through already. But, I mean, Sonoda's doing, doing what he needs to do. Let's get this done, Nick. We're going to go overtake aggression high. This should be a pretty easy move. Down the straight. Holy cow, we can't go full speed on that. Why are you not diving it down the inside? You've got DRS. You've got everything. We're giving you everything, mate. You've got to send it. You've got to send it. He's sending it around the outside. Here we go. Nick DeVries up into P14. He's got the move done. Beautiful stuff. He's cooking. Okay, anything I ever said about Nick... Actually, I don't take it back because he has had a stinker of a year. But, um, we're going to rarely defend against Magnussen. There's no point fighting that. But he is good, doing well today. Just need to pull out that one second margin to Logie Sarge. And we're good. So, we have got that one second margin. I mean, DeVries is slowly catching in on Sonoda. Have we left Sonoda out for too long? I don't know. We're, we're kind of hoping for, for something to help him. Because... Regardless, if there's no safety cars, no red flags, no nothing, we're not getting points. It's as simple as that. So, optimal pit stop. I want him to go a little bit longer, maybe. We might have to start thinking about saving stuff. Well, we will have to start thinking. Actually, we probably will have to start saving fuel very soon for, for DeVries. We're just trying to give him a little bit of an advantage, as much of an advantage as possible before we do that. So, he's built a gap to Sergeant, who is going to pit at some point. I'd say we start conserving now. We're going to start conserving now with, with DeVries. He's done a good job to put his car where he is. But, yeah, it's, it's not really gone It's not really gone our way. Norris is closing in. Well, he's not actually closing in too much. But I think we bring in Sonoda next lap. We've got to bring him in next lap. So we're going to bring him in to, onto a set of softs. He is going to be a lot faster than everybody else. It's just a little bit annoying that nothing's gone our way. Norris into the pits now. So we've got to make sure we protect against that potential undercut. Even uh, go a bit deploy. Push a little bit this lap, Lando, uh, Yuki. To make sure Lando doesn't get that undercut. Can we whip out another 
DHL uh, rapid pit stop for the for the pit stop pit stop standards. We should be able to get at least one point in it now. 2.493. That's okay. We'll take that. It's not like the 2.3 second we have with uh, the freeze. I mean, we could see where that puts us, actually. Where does that put us? Oh, it doesn't tell us. Anyway, um, Lando. Oh, he's come out right around this traffic. He's getting lapped. That's a little bit annoying for him. It's great for us, though. Sonoda's come out in a good spot. Nice clear air. Yes, please. We will take that. So, uh, Yuki's cooking. He'll catch up to Sergeant soon. He's ahead of Hulkenberg, who's on uh, medium. So, Sonoda. I mean, Sonoda's in a he, he's great position to finish P12. The Freeze P13. I think this is a solid weekend, even though it doesn't look like there's points on the horizon. Maybe if someone in the top 10, two of them crash out, something could be happening. Oh, my God. Yellow flag. Please give us something. I won't be like the Bottas last time when it was like the minor contact. At least a broken wing for one of them. That would be huge. Oh! That's two of them. That's two of them. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Tell me they've both got damage. There's no... Stroll's got a penalty. Ocon, does he have damage? Do either of them have damage? What's going on? No front wing damage by the looks of it. But Stroll has a penalty... I mean, they're a little too far up the road. We needed them to get damage and have to pit for us to even stand a chance. Maybe they, they, they might have some side pod damage. They might have some, some damage that's going to make them slow. We will find out. Either of them coming into the pits? No, that's a little bit boring. Okay. Um, but Stroll does have a penalty, which is probably a five-second penalty. I'll tell you what did happen. In that incident, Stroll has killed his tires. 52% on the soft. So he will have to pit again. And he's got to serve that five-second penalty. Ocon... I mean, I don't know if he's got any damage. I don't know how you check, to be honest. But, yeah, so Stroll just put on those softs as well. So that's tragic for him. He's going to make this overtake on Sergeant. Should be a very, very easy overtake. Sergeant's on 48% uh, worn softs. So, yeah, that is very easy. Through on Sergeant we go. Push a little bit just to make sure we get out of that DRS. Hulkenberg behind. Hopefully he has a bit of struggle getting past Sergeant. And um, that will slow him down a little bit. De Vries is doing a solid job. He's running his race, and uh, he's holding on to those mediums well. He's actually keeping him up to temperature pretty decent. It's it's difficult to keep him up to temperature, especially in these conditions. We need it to be a little bit more sunny. It's been cloudy conditions. With uh, there being a little bit of sun now, uh, it should be a little bit easier. But he's actually doing a good job at keeping him in a working window. So Stroll's made that pit with the five-second penalty. He's right out behind De Vries, so that doesn't actually help us at all. He's on a new set of softs. He's going to fly past Nick. Um, so, yeah, we're not really fighting for points. And I think for Nick, we literally just tell him, let him go. There's no point. Um, P12, P13 is on the cards. Which I think, for both drivers to be relatively close, is a great achievement for us. They haven't been this close in race pace since the start of the season. I mean, they haven't, just in any race. I, I think Sonoda will beat him, just on being on the better tyres. And probably might be in by a little bit of a margin. But De Vries has got the ability to hold on to that P13. I mean, a safety car would be absolutely beautiful. But I just don't see it happening. They both get lapped as well. The fuel shouldn't be too much of an issue. You've got Leclerc and Verstappen fighting behind. So Sonoda and De Vries might be lapped soon. But I'd say it's been a decent, decent race from us. Two cars out. Hold on. Hold on. You can't say two cars out and then not bring out a safety car. What is going on? Oh, it's the cars behind us. It's Hulkenberg. But it's got to be a safety car. I mean, how's... Oh, that Williams dodged it. No, they keep going. Okay. So no safety car, pretty. So no to catch up to De Vries. I mean, we're just going to tell De Vries, let him, let him through. You know, don't fight him. Don't fight your teammate. Literally, just let him through. And uh, we'll get on with our day. Weird spot to let him through. I mean, we should have probably told him to do it down the straight. But anyway, he is through. The breeze is about to be lapped as well. So the worry about the fuel shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we are conserving with both drivers just to make sure we get to the end. We didn't get that safety car that we were looking for. I think it's been a decent drive from both of them. I'll be fully honest. I mean, what timing that is. Nice one. I mean, you're not even pushing, mate. You're not even pushing. What's he done? 
Just locked up. At least he hasn't put it in the wall. Just keep going, boss. Oh, is Lando going to get him? Lando's right on his tail now. Nice one, Nick. Nice one. Could have been a simple P13, but not anymore. Ah, he's bottled it. He's bottled it. I mean, I was just praising him. I'm like, it's a decent race today. He's done well. We've told him to defend. I don't think he's going to be able to defend. And the McLaren should breeze past him. But he's doing well for now. Defending well. Defending strong. But it's only a matter of time before Norris gets past. He is on. Pretty fresh softs. So that is frustrating. Yellow flag again. Multiple cars crash. There's no safety car though. There's no safety car. It's just teasing me. It's teasing me. Please tell me it's one of the front, front guys again. No, it's Oscar Piastri from behind. I don't even care. I don't even care. There's no safety car. Why do I care? Uh, but it is a penalty for Hulkenberg. That's the second five-second penalty. He's having a stinker. Mate, let me get rid of him. Let me get rid of him. He is stinking up the gaff. He's stinking up the gaff. Just, just get to the end of the Grand Prix, please, Nick. Without crashing the car. We can't afford to crash it. Oh! My days. What's just happened? There's a safety car right at the end. Who's crashed out? Who has crashed out? Where are our cars? Sonoda's over here. The Vries is here. There's only like three laps to go. I don't even know if we'll have enough time. Let's have a look. What has happened? This is late, late drama. Leclerc. Please tell me both cars are out. Both cars are out. Surely. Oh my god, that's Sonoda in the in the points. Big decision here. If we pit, we definitely should not pit. We would lose a spot. Oh my days. We'd lose a spot to Lando Norris. When would the safety car come in? I don't think we could do that, you know. I really don't. If, Norris, if we had a bigger gap to Lando behind, I most certainly would. That's the thing. I most certainly would. Are we sure we can't get the pit stop done? How long, how long would it take? Total pit in time. 16.2 seconds. Oh, yeah, we don't have that advantage. Okay. We're going to stay out. We have to stay out. Can we let lap cars overtake, please? Let lap cars overtake. We don't want to have to defend against Norris for ages, which we probably will have to. They're going to have one racing lap, if any. We're not going to be able to gain any spots because we got caught behind... Well, we could actually... Are we, yeah, we're behind Ockham. Maybe we could find one spot. But they've got to let lap cars overtake. I don't know if they're going to or not. Are we going to have a racing lap? That is the question. Are they even gonna, I don't think they're going to let lap, lap cars overtake, are they? Are we going to get back going? De Vries down in P13. He's not scoring any points. What is happening? Is it, Are we going to get a racing lap? I'm so glad I didn't pit. I don't think we're going to. I am so glad I didn't pit. We're not going to get a racing lap. It's going to end behind the safety car. We're on the final lap. It's going to end behind the safety car. Oh, my days. It's a world-class decision not to pit. It's going to be a point. It's going to be a point for Alvatari. We will happily take a point. Happily, happily, happily take a point. Thank you very much. Alonso and Leclerc, thank you for crashing. Safety car ending. I mean, they can't overtake us, can they, up to the line? We'll push anyway, just to make sure, because the last thing I want is for the game to glitch out and have blimmin' Norris overtake us. So we'll push anyway, even though I don't think they're allowed to overtake. Uh, safety car is ending. They didn't even bother letting uh, lapped cars unlap themselves. I mean, they could have probably had one race and lap, but we're going to get to the line, and it's going to be P10. We needed something to go our way, and it did go our way. P10 for Yuki Sonoda, and it is P13 for Nick DeVries. We will take it. We'll take every point we can get. A solid, solid result for Alpha Tauri. Come on. I mean, talk about late drama. 
without a crash, it's it's a boring end to the race. We don't get any points. But instead, we get a crucial, crucial point in that battle for... I mean, it's P, P7, isn't it? So we're one point closer to Williams, who are on six. We're on four. McLaren and Alfa Romeo, both on two. Another point for Sonoda in the standings. De Vries yet to get one. And he's honestly fighting for his seat. I mean, P13, it doesn't look too bad. But if he doesn't make those mistakes, it would have been a P11. And that would have been his best result of the season. So a little bit disappointing for Nick. But... I guess there is a little bit of progress. It was a little bit better. I'll tell you what, though. Two points in the DHL fastest pit stop. Yes, please. We will take it. We will take it. Beautiful stuff. I don't know why I'm gassed about that, but I'm gassed. We will take it. You see here, I mean, P12, P12. We were looking for a P12. The, the pace is consistent. The pace is there. Liam Lawson, eighth in practice. He's looking like he is someone ready to come in and replace... Uh, Replace the Vries, but we'll give the Vries a little bit longer. It is getting frustrating because, I mean, that was a little bit of progress there, but we don't see him getting near Sonoda at all. I mean, he was kind of close to him this race, but it's the constant mistakes, which is the big problem. I mean, look at this upgrade. You see, this is our current one. This is the new one upgraded. The high speeds improved, but look at that. The low speed and the medium speed is a bit stinky. Dirty air tolerance is stinky, and it's only improved the brake cooling. I don't know why I've done this upgrade. It's just a waste of money, to be honest. So, I mean, that's poor for me. But anyway, I guess we could use it around high-speed tracks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. But anyway, um, the new front wing upgrade isn't going to be anything special. We can get some more upgrades in soon, which we will do with a new ATR period. And, um, I mean, if we have a look, it starts there. we got Austria, that, that following race. And we've got Silver. So we could probably get something in for Hungary. So we might look for some low-speed upgrades. But, yeah. That is Aust uh, that is Canada done. Another point on the board. We are closing in on Williams for P7. And uh, we're in a good old scrap. Fighting for those P9, P10 places every race. And we'll see what we can do next time out. It's a good race at the top, actually, between Ferrari and Red Bull. Much better than in real life. Look at that. I mean, that, that's getting juicy. What about the driver's standings for Stappen winning? Of course. But anyway, if you are enjoying this series, make sure you go ahead. Let's have a look at the F2. Let's have a look. Who's, who's cooking? Theo Porcher. Classic. What about F3? Ah, okay. Maybe Theo Porcher will be an option. I know some of these F2 guys. Hardly ever watch it, but I, I recognize them. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, if you are enjoying this series, make sure you go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, comment on what you think I should do with Nick DeVries, whether he should be binned out and uh, and tossed to the side and bring in Liam Lawson or someone else, uh, or, or what you want me to do. So uh, make sure you go ahead, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.